Alright, so hello YouTube, it is I, Rabble Racing, and so today we'll be doing a review on the 2017 Chevy Camaro ZL1, and today we also have its die cast, so this will also be a hands-on review of the die cast of the 2017 Chevy Camaro ZL1. So first let's talk about the Camaro. So the ZL1 has a supercharged V8 engine, a spoiler on the back, Racing tires, a very nice looking grille, and, well, carbon fiber hood, well, a small part, as you can see here, that much is carbon fiber. And, for certain models of it, the carbon fiber wheels. The ZL1 is one of the best looking versions of the Camaro, but I think the 1LE looks better, but I couldn't find a diecast anywhere on it. I mean, nobody sells a diecast for the ZL1 1LE version. But anyway, let's get started. So, anyway, the Camaro, the this model of it at least, with everything that this car represents, this is the supercharged V8 model, right? So the price of this, in this color, in real life, is $64,190. That's a lot of price, and I'm on the Chevy website here. That's a big price for that. Let's just make my screen a bit bigger. That's a big price for that car. So anyway, let's just see. This diecast is made by Maestro, right? Let's just see how close they were with their diecast and how close this is to the actual car. So let's see. As you can see, Maestro got the black badge correctly. Right? They have the little ZL1 badge there, and so does the actual one. The headlights, let's just lift it up a bit. Uh, well, there's not a lot of color in them, right? Like there is in the actual model. You can see in the actual, there is a little orange, but there isn't in the diecast. Okay, they have the little yellow stripe. I mean white, sorry. Yeah, white stripe on both sides. That one has it too. And they have the grill. This one, see the grill? And they have the grill on this one too. And of course the black hood, which you can pretty much see from here. So from this view, let's see. Let's put it in that same perspective wise. Alright, the Camaro looks good. Yeah, it pretty much looks nearly the same. Nice job, Maestro. Well that's the front at least. <gasps> Wait a second. Oh, okay, yes, they have it. If you I don't know if you guys can see. Barely, there's a small orange stripe, and Maestro has it pretty clearly on their Camaro. And let's go to the next side. Okay, this here's the side of the car. Alright. So, that's weird. The website changed this from orange to black. I think that's a glitch. We should contact Chevy about that, because this is their website. Anyway, let's see. Door mirrors. Alright. We have that. Let's see, the rims. Oh my gosh, no way. They have the same exact rims. That's amazing. And they have the little orange stripe. And that one has the orange stripe too. So let's flip to the back. Let's turn this guy around too. So, okay, they got the spoiler down. Right? They put Chevrolet. roll. Oh no. The camera's not really focusing. See, yeah, Chevy wrote, just like they did on the website. <laughs> well, that's just for a showcase of cars. They put, let's just see, ZR1, black Chevy sign, red headlights, and exhaust pipes for two red lines. Let's see. Alright, two red lines here, black underneath, ZR1, Chevy symbol in black, spoiler. Oh, wait up. Come on, Maestro, you could have did this. They put black exhaust pipes instead of silver. As you can see up there, that's that's silver. But that's fine, you know, that's a small oversight in this entire thing. Oh, let's not forget about this. And Maestro has it too. Let's go to the side. Yep, pretty much same thing on this side. That's pretty nice job, Maestro. Alright, so now for the interior of the car. Looks pretty nicely detailed. So let's look up at the actual one first. 
So as you can see, the Chevy wheel with the Camaro big screen right there. I think that's about six inch as they describe it. There's an eight inch for it too, but yeah, it's fine. Two air conditioning vents here, one there, one there. Gear lever, cup holder, this, and the doors. Yeah, yeah. So that's the pretty much, and then it's like that. That's the pretty much, you know, inside of it. So now let's just look at the actual diecast. Let's see, let's look at the door handle, if we can get that in the shot. Yeah, those look pretty much the same from my view. I can't really get that on the camera. Let's look on the inside. Now, as we can see, right, the, um, there's the steering wheel, there's the six inch screen. Let's go from the other view. I think I'll get a better angle from the other side. Yeah, there we go, that's better lighting. So they have the screen there. Right, let's just zoom this in properly. So they have the screen, the two air conditioning vents on the bottom, one here. Like, let's see, so one here, two over there. So there was one on the other side right here. Oh, I totally forgot. Yeah, the uh, sorry, the, the rear view mirror. So yeah, nice job, Maestro. And Maestro went through the trouble of actually creating back seats. It's really hard to get on the camera, but they they are there. Just saying. Anyway, guys, if you guys are ever considering buying a Chevy Camaro ZL1 diecast. This is the perfect one to buy, the Maestro one. I got this one for $9.99, pretty good price. On Amazon, they sell it for like $20. That was pretty expensive, but when I found this price for the right size, that was pretty good. This is one, it's 24 size, so it's pretty good. Oh, one more thing, the trunk opened, the, not the trunk, the hood opened too. So let's just check it, let's look at, here we go. Here's the engine. It's a pretty nice looking engine, we can see the, um... Supercharged V8 looks amazing. We can see this. I used to know the name of this one. I don't I can't really remember it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, so the engine's very nicely detailed. I couldn't find a picture of it online, so we're still here on this page. I couldn't find a picture of it on the Chevy website. But yeah, anyway, so it's pretty good how they detail this. This is, takes some serious skill to detail. Anyway, guys, let's just close that. So guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. So thanks a lot for watching, and, well, see you next.